But we're here. It's time. You know it's time. You know it's fresh, boy. It's the mold. 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 I'm back on the track with a superstar status. Crazy crossovers. I'm here to let them have it. 2K Madden. It's all the same. I play so great, baby. About to rip up the game. The channel just leaking. People keep sleeping. Godzilla mode. We the best kept secret. This is just an intro. Open up your window. Take time to check out the video. Yo, what's good YouTube? Welcome back to Godzilla Mo. And today I have another great video for you guys, all right? In today's video, I'll be showing you guys the best runs in the Detroit Lions playbook. And look, the Detroit Lions is the best offensive playbook in the game right now by far. It has all the bomb play, like bomb plays, man beating plays, zone play, beat zone plays. All that good stuff. I'm going to show you guys the best run plays out of this playbook, all right? But look, before we get into it, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get right into the video, all right? So I won't be going over like every play in this playbook, but I'm just going to tell you guys what plays is the best to use in different situations, things of that nature. Because I... If you're not if you're not really a passer and you're really of a runner, then your best play should be stretch plays. Stretch plays it beats the man blitzes basically. If like, if a guy is running the man blitz against you, 90% of the time or about 50%, I would say 50-50, it's going to break you're going to break a run, all right? If they don't have like inside stuff or no outsiders, you should be able to break a run with stretch plays because blitzes man blitzes are basically uh, it just one on one. So then, when they do uh, your receiver block the DB, wherever it's checking about, wherever it is, you should be able to get to the outside. All right. So let's go ahead and call the stretch play right here. Let's come out and against Overstorm Brave. Right. Overstorm Brave, one of the best uh, defenses, uh, probably the best defense right now. Could be one of the best defenses in the game right now. Right. So I, usually, what I what I usually do is just ID one of these two guys, or just ID whoever you think. No, you should ID and just go ahead and run like a stretch play. So you just get to the outside and you should be good because what a man bliss is, like I said, just one on one. So like e then it, it makes it even better if your opponent is um, uh, guest passing and he gets guest play pass, then you should be able to run a four length touchdown and get to the uh, crib. All right. So like I said, stretch should be your best, should be your favorite and should be your best friend when you are running a run play in matter 23. All right. Now. The other runs you guys should look for in your playbook and or in any playbook or just Detroit Lions playbook is 0-1 trap. If you find any trap plays, this them should be your uh what is it called? Them should be your, your um plays you guys should run in the Detroit Lions. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if they have um any because I did not I should have checked if they had a uh trap any trap plays, which I do think they do they got any. So they actually don't have any trap plays, but if any playbook you guys are in, if they have a trap play, make sure you guys run trap because it's just one of the best. Um, it, it basically is it's great blocking. Even if you have great, I mean, bad blockers or a bad offensive lineman, it just gives you great blocking. You should be able to um, get a few yards with O1 trap. If you guys watch like Noah up next, you guys should know that. Um, 01 trap was like his favorite favorite run play he just he run the ball a lot with that play all right but uh yeah the next um run i do should get suggest you guys run out of this playbook is to, out of trips to eat it is the halfback counter so what halfback counter does is uh when they do like even run the zone or whatever it is if it don't matter if they run the zone or or blitz it's just one of the best plays run plays because they do catch a lot of people off guard when they do think they when they do think you're um they're gonna run straight down the middle or just like run like a simple base play or inside zone it does catch them off guard and you guys i have like took it to the house many times with this play so that's why i do like this play so much uh with this this, this run play right here right so i'm gonna go ahead and snap it and i usually just boom away from my blockers and then just follow my blockers so when you do snap the ball just see where your blockers go and then you should be able to like make, break maybe five ten or maybe a, a run all the way to the uh crib all right so let's go ahead and run up here one more time i think i id the wrong guy but right there as you guys can see i do get a few yards now 
when you do run the ball, it's all about just reading the defense. If they have, if they if they're stacking the box, then it's gonna be a bad inside zone run. But if they're if they aren't running, um, like if you see that they aren't stacking the box, I mean if they are stacking the box, then run stretch. If they aren't, then you should be able to run an inside zone play right here. That's, I'm gonna go ahead and call inside zone. I'm gonna ID the uh, guy right here, and then I'm going to right here, boom, and then just go to the inside. Okay, they did get a shed right there. That's on me. They did have a um, I just run stopper on JJ Watt. I did. I forgot about that. So if they are running like inside, I mean not inside zones, but inside stuff and things of that nature, go ahead and just double team that guy, and then just ID that guy over there. And then oh, I didn't mean to run counter, but right there, as you guys can see, that's a bad run running by me right there. Cause I don't really run the ball that much, but when I do run the ball, it's because it's run plays that I do run. Um, on a regular with my offense and things of that nature, all right? But like I said, if they are stacking the box, look for stretch plays. If they, are, if they aren't stretching the box, then you guys should be able to run it up the middle. I'm going to ID this guy right here. Man up, man, uh, ID him, boom, right there. Then we guys should be able to break a run through the middle. Like I said, and that's just one of the best plays, best ways you guys can read the defenses. And if you do want to run the ball, that's how you guys should do it, all right? And uh, like I said, stretch play should be, uh, it should be in almost every playbook. But uh, like I said, the Lions, they, they have a lot of great plays in this playbook you guys can run. And then, like I said, you can go with the multiple tight end set, which is probably the best. If you do like to run the ball, it's probably one of the best things to do because you can eye catch if you do need to pass the ball. Um, then you got uh, single back wing, which has have like toss crack. Then you got wing stack. And then if you if you guys want to look for run plays, just go to concept and just go to run right here. And if you're looking to go to the outside, it literally, it shows you like a picture and things of that nature. You can just click that and just you see it got halfback stretch out of iPhone slot close. You got uh now these these sweet plays and halfback off tackle, those type of plays are just like stretch plays but out of shotgun. So like if you're running like uh if they are running like a blitz, like I said, through the like a uh, I don't know, maybe spinner or overstorm brave or three four eye blitz, this is a great play you guys can run because it does lead them to the outside. You guys should be good, all right. Um another uh play like halfback power. Uh, at most times that's what it is it's like a halfback power play these two uh, 26 duo halfback base now base out of bunch any base play is really really good and but i uh, like other plays like inside zone is great too but i think base is a little bit better run play than any other run out of the shotgun then we also got like draw plays i don't recommend running draw plays it, they I mean they was good like early on in the year but other than like right now they're not they're not good don't don't run them that just like same thing with halfback ram do not run that play it just doesn't work unless you have elite linemen with with abilities do not run this play all right then we got end rounds now, end rounds are only really good if you have fast receivers if you don't have fast receivers do not run this all right but like i said if you do have a 93 90 like a 93 speed receiver run this play this is good for like low overall receivers but have good running all right like maybe like anthony schwartz uh the turp turpin turpin from uh What's that team? The Cowboys. And you got Quez Watkins. Dumb type of players you can run this with. Tyreek Hill. And same thing with reverse and jet sweeps, all right? Um, like I said, I just told you guys, if you want if they are stacking the box, you know what to do. If you don't, if they are stacking the box, then you just go straight through the middle, all right? But, uh, yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And these are, like, the best runs in the game you guys should run in Madden 23 out of the uh, Detroit Lions playbook. It's halfback sh uh, stretch. Uh, counter out of now counters out of single back you can run it but it's, it's like really risky because you can lose a lot of yards out of it out of single back if they do have a great user you might lose a lot of yards all right but if they aren't if the user isn't really good then you guys should be good but i do recommend running counter out of the uh the gun trips to e out of out of that outside zone should be a stretch play or maybe a sweet play if you want to that's really up to you and what if the defense allows it but uh yeah and other than that make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video peace